What's up and welcome to Rad Potential, where we are working on the race car again. You may recognize this. It is the 24 Hours Lemons car. Uh, we prepped it and did a race already this year, but I didn't include or didn't end up making a video from that because it rained the whole weekend, but I might throw in a clip or two here. Messy. All right, what's up? You're on my helmet. We're about to go out. First session of the day. For some reason, they, they let me go first. Um, so it's gonna be fun. It is uh, raining quite heavily already. I'm already soaked. We haven't even gotten out and done anything yet. It's gonna be a wet one. It's gonna be a wet one. All right, cool. What do you gotta say? Uh, don't wreck it. <laughs> Anyway, we got another race coming up. Eric's joining us in this one, um, and we have some maintenance to do before this before this race. So here's our list of things to do. Um, I need to change the oil, flush the fluid or flush coolant, um, top off the trans fluid, um, and then the bigger ones. I need to mount some new tires. I need to swap the fuel pump, as well as uh, fuel filter and then possibly get to mounting the cool suit cooler. So we're gonna try to get to that, all of that in this video. Um, the race is in a couple weeks, so look forward to seeing some, some of that. We're gonna jump right in. First thing we're gonna do is the fuel pump. Um, we've got a replacement fuel pump here. Um, at one of the previous races, um, a like AutoZone pump got put in there that um, didn't quite have the flow capacity that a proper E31 should have. So it was uh, cutting out after it got hot at high RPM. So we're gonna stick a new one in. Hopefully that will sort out that issue. And then one other thing I forgot to add to the list was uh, reboot the axles. Um, one of the axles is torn. We're gonna pop it out and put a new boot on it, pack it full of grease, and hopefully we'll be good to go there. Uh, slight change of plans. The car's over here now, not over here. There's more room to work over here. And uh, the fuel pump, we ordered uh, was not the right fuel pump, so we got another one on order. So I'm gonna tackle the rest of the list. I'm gonna get it jacked up, oil, everything I said before. So follow along if you want. Welcome back. It's a few days later from the last clip. We've got a new fuel pump and we checked off a lot of the lame stuff that wasn't fun. So we changed the oil, topped off the trans fluid, um, changed the fuel filter down here. See, fresh fuel to filter in there. Um, I think that's it. So now we're gonna put the actually proper 
fuel pump assembly, as you can see. This looks more appropriate to what we pulled out of there before. And this should be a quick and easy swap in. And hopefully that'll solve our kind of starving issue up top. And uh, this thing will be good to go for two weeks from now. So watch me plug that thing in and then we'll take it for a test rip around the neighborhood, maybe tomorrow, cause you can't see, but it looks like it's about to open up in the skies, so. So I think this is going to make a difference, at least I hope it is. So here's our nice OEM replacement pump, looking fresh as ever. Here's what came out. Now this, granted, was, um, as I'm told, a trackside repair. Um, fuel pump died during the middle of a race, had to run AutoZone. So this is some AutoZone pump that's not rated for the E30, and that's why we're having our breakup issue. At least fingers crossed that's why. But look what they had to do. I mean, it's just like a... Uh, whatever you call it, a hose clamp down here, which is not that weird or, or normal. Um, cut little random hoses, but then the sketchy part is like this wiring. It's like heat shrunk and soldered together, and then the ground is just soldered to the, the return line. So anyway, this fresh unit hopefully, uh, hopefully should do the trick, and it comes with nice new nuts and washers and rubber gaskets or seals. So hopefully that's the ticket to a nice running race car. Check out the other cool race cars that aren't really race cars.
way through four, so that's good. Gearbox is starting to warm up. So we'll do a couple more pulls, see what it's like, but feels good to be in the race car. Well, here we are. I've tried lots of things. The axle's all loose, except for inside the hub. See the methods of try to removal and it's not working. Now I've got it soaking with penetrant oil. We're gonna try a little bit later on. Um, hammered, tried hammering it out. Broke a, a three jaw clamp puller thing. So maybe this axle will come out, maybe it won't. Might just go back together the way it is. So one last update on the E30 axles. We've tried everything, big hammer, big heat, lots of PB blaster over a week's time, and it's not coming out. I think the next step would be beat harder till you deform the axle and or pull the whole rear, rear trailing arm out and put it in a press. We don't have time for that. Race is in four or five days. So it's going back together. We're gonna put a new nut on, new lock washer and uh, ship it. Hopefully the axles stay together for one more weekend and then we can pull it all back apart and maybe pull the real trailing arm off, take it to a shop that has a big old press. So we'll see you when this is all back together on the ground and uh, we're getting ready for the race. Well, that's it for the E30. It's back on the ground and it is loaded back up with all the spares and tools and stuff for the race weekend coming up. Um, not super successful on the axles, but we got everything else done and prepped and ready and got it for a test drive, which drove good on these axles. We'll just see if they hold up. Hopefully they do. Fingers crossed. Anyway, stay tuned for this coming weekend. Uh, we got second lemons race. Eric's going to be joining us and it should be a good time. Weather's looking perfect. Doing the grand full course at NCM and uh, it's going to be a good time. So thanks for following along. Keep it rad.